A temple of Apollo, god of music, harmony, light, healing, and oracles occupied the most important and prominent position in the Delphic Panhellenic Sanctuary. The edifice with the partially restored colonnade visible today dates to the 20th century BC and, according to ancient accounts, five different temples were built throughout history. The famous oracle, the Pythia, operated inside the temple, the location chosen, according to one tradition, due to a sacred chasm beneath the site emitting vapors, which were inhaled by the Pythia. According to mythological legend, Apollo famously killed Python, the dragon that previously guarded the oracle, as the sun rose from the ravines of Delphi. After the god took possession of the oracle, Apollo, along with his mother, Leto, and his sister, Artemis, would be worshipped at Delphi. Delphi Archaeological Museum is one of the principal museums of Greece and one of the most visited. It is operated by the Greek Ministry of Culture. Founded in 1903, it has been rearranged several times and houses the discoveries made at the Panhellenic Sanctuary of Delphi, which date from the late Hellenic period to the early Byzantine era. One of the reasons it declined it was that Apollo was accused of siding with the Persians. When we had the Persian invasions, the origins of Apollo are all and then he was accused of siding with the Spartans when the war between Athens and Sparta starts, uh, started because in that case the origins were obviously speaking of a Sparta that is part of the shrine of Athena before the temple it's the thing that usually people know from pictures but it's not part of the sanctuary of Apollo it's part of the sanctuary of Athena Apollo's temple is right in front of us slightly higher than us, not right now, in front of us is about 10 o'clock ourselves as we drive we're gonna go first past Castalia the fountain where Pythia the girl had to cleanse herself is to our right hand side 